G'day everyone and welcome to the first series of the version 1, 7 Days to Die. We are finally here. And had a bit of a break. Yes, it's finally out. The stable release. Now, this series we're playing on... Uh, what is it? Pre... Uh, the pre-gen 6K, number one. So we'll see what this is like to start with. My field of view, all right? No, it looks a bit different. No, I think it's all right. So yeah, all the normal settings. So Max Horde, we're playing on Warrior. Because it is already tough as it is. As I've found out through the streams, some of you may know. <laughs> Fun times. Um, what else have we got? Uh, yeah, permadeath as usual. Loot respawns disabled. And I think that's really just about it. Everything else normal. So, yeah. Well, now we've got challenges. So, we'll have to get into this. We'll get that one started. Very good. We just need stones. So, yes. Yeah, so hopefully, we have a good run. I don't die too early. Well, that all would be nice. But, yeah, let's we'll see how we go. I'll get a stone axe. So yeah, this episode is probably going to be, you know, mainly base building and whatnot. Just until we get something down, but we'll see how we go. I will try to do a lot of the mundane stuff during the night time, which I should be able to. I want to hold stone axe. All right, that's done. Harvest wood and stone. All right, let's chop down this tree. There we go. That's that done. Now I need to harvest stone. God, that coal, that's nice. Oh, there we go. We'll whack on this stone for a little bit. All right, that should be enough stone. So that's all done. We want a primitive outfit. So we just go there. We'll just make up a bit of everything. That's it. Oh, look at that handsome fella there, eh? <laughs> That's it. Now we're covered. All right, we don't need the seeds. We want a wooden club, but I don't think I'm going to be going the wooden club. I've gotten quite accustomed to the spear lately. So I will be going to the spear. Got stone arrows. I can only make one. There we go. And that's all those challenges done. So we'll tick them off. Very good. And that one, which should give us our skill points. So, oh, don't want to see that message. Skill points. I will put one in the Spear Master. So we also got Lucky Looter, Salvage Operations. They are good to get up. We also have Quick and Perceptive, which goes well with the Spear. Penetrator. Not sure if that does well with the Spear. I mean, it's good for firearms and archery. But yeah, we'll put one in the spear for now. The other one I want to put in a Master Chef because the sooner we find books, the better. And then the other two we'll put down into... Oh, no, what we really need is a forge and stuff. So put one in advanced engineering, one in lock picking. They both will help our chances of finding forge books. Right, so we've got 800 metres to the trader. So, yeah, I'll head on over. I'll meet you guys over. And, yes, they've moved Joel out of the forest and put the grumpy old bastard wreck there. So, yeah, <laughs> we're going to be living next to wreck, I reckon. All right, here is the old man's place. Very good. And we are close to the snow here, too. Which is good to see. It means we can make the uh, yucca juice smoothies easy enough. Which they are really good. Very good. We'll see you later. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully I don't die. Alright, but we do have a bit of a town. Quite a nice looking town. I just want to have a little run around the outside of his of the trader first. See 
our potential build spots. It is rather quite a bumpy over that side. I think we might just build out here. At this side out here. Yeah, it's nice and flat. A few trees around. Nose close. So we'll also be able to, should be able to find lots of food with mountain lions and all the sort of kitty cats, bears, which I don't want to go after too early. Yeah, we'll just kill this guy off. Bloody crawling thing. Come on. Now, scrap that and we'll get a spear. And we're going to wait. <laughs> Scrapping things do take a lot longer now for some reason. There we go. Alright, we got our spear. So yeah, we'll try to upgrade this as quickly as we can. Yeah, anyway, let's get inside and do a bit of looting in here. See what he's got for us. A few bits and bobs, no doubt. Some mixer forge book. Nice. Alright, we can make a dew collector. We just need a lot of plastic or polymer. Ah, food. Oh, yeah. Home cooking already. Miso soup. It's not... Not great food, but... Yeah, that'll do. Those steel parts. Yeah, you, yeah. I've learnt you really do need a lot of them. You're finding a lot of eggs, too. Good. We might need a lot of those as well. They're a lot more valuable. Actually... Duct tape is the one of the most valuable things. It's even more valuable than what it used to be, believe it or not. Uh, what do we got here? Oh, stick book. Love it. Now, yeah, I think we'll, we will grow. Grow some food or crops. Another forge book. Another forge book. That's three. One more and we've got a forge. Jeez, that's probably... If I can get it from here. Nah. <laughs> we do got two vitamins though, so that's alright. Alright, what have we got in here? Not much. Another home cooking book. Which is also good. Uh, what is that noise? So you got like air conditioning or something in here. Uh, some more murky water. What is that? Oh, there must be something up there. Can we get up there? Uh, it's not looking like it. Oh, put that out of my mind. All right, you grumpy old bastard. You're not bringing counterfeit money in here, are you? Oh, what would you do if I did? Didn't we agree your first job was going to be free? All right, stone shovel. This is so what we'll do is we'll do this think of intro it, it's quest now. And you'll find yourself on the then once we've got this road. done, we'll get into starting on the base. Now, I've already got an idea. Those of you who have been watching the streams, or specifically the last stream I've had, I have worked out a pretty decent base. Or I think it's pretty decent. It worked on the first horde, so it's always good. But I'll be redoing that one, as well as adding some extra things and whatnot. But yeah, going for a bit of a pick base. Should work well. All right, here we are. Now, this one it is the starting quest. So, nice small circle. Love it. Get rid of these. They're just going to annoy me. All right. We'll get this dug up. Hopefully, it doesn't take too long. And then, yeah, we can get into building.
Oh, there it is. It was there right the whole time. <laughs> Just wasn't paying attention. All right. Uh, sandwich. I think we should need it. We will keep rotting flesh for now, though. Because we'll need them for farm plots. What do you want, mate? Right here. Let's test out this spear. Uh, get a little bit more reach with the spear, I think. And also, it will penetrate once we get the the perk book. All right, we'll go back. Actually, we've got to keep looking at our, well, challenges. We'll take these. They do offer XP as well. I grab that. We've got that one for wrecked. We have read a magazine and spent a skill point. Yeah, well. well let's get back to the grumpy old bass and see what he gives us for it. All right. Well, I think we've got enough to start with. I'm not getting much wood or as much wood as I would have liked, but that's because I haven't put any into minus 69 or in mother load. I probably should have done first up, but forge, those forge books are going to be crucial. The quicker we can get to workbench and start making our own bullets, they'll, you know, I'll be feel a lot better. Right, let's have a quick drink. Let's get rid of this last bit of wood. Or last tree. And yeah, we'll build in that area just in front of us there. And I do like to be facing north. Actually, we'll get this stump. I already got one bit of honey from the stump. So, good start. No, oh, another challenge complete. We might have been able to level up. Let's have a look at our challenges. There we got kill zombies. We've killed five zombies. That's good. We've completed quests. And that's a level. And we go over to advance and we've got to gather wood. Another thousand. Fantastic. So that's a level. We'll go straight into uh, what would be better. That will give me more resources. So that's what I'd like to do first. Excellent. Right. Let's test this out on a tree. Ooh. We'll grab the feathers. Yeah, that's given a lot more wood. Yeah, probably should have put it in here first, but ah oh well. We got it now. We'll get that um, minus 69 and next, which will you know, do more block damage. And yeah. Things should start moving along a bit better then. Right, north is that way, so that's the way I like to face. Not really for any reason, I just, that's just, that's personal. <laughs> right. So what I'll do is we're going to dig in into the ground. So I want to go. Yeah, remember, I think we go 12 across. So I'll get that done. Oh, I don't want to be too close to thing in my bob either. Let's make up a land claim block. Quickly. And we'll just see how close we can get. Yeah, see, there we can't. Here we can. Right, so if we move up here a little bit further, should be all right, but are we starting to get hilly? Hmm. Yeah, we'll go from about here. We'll see if this will be all right. So, yeah, I'll go 12 across. I'll get that done now. All right, how far have I gone? I have started making up 500 building blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eleven, twelve. We've actually gone one too many. But that's all right. Now, it's still green. But it's green all the way along here. Oh, that's good. Because I don't really want to be... Oh, God, where are they? I don't really... Like, up here, it was, like... I had to dig down two blocks. So I'll go from here. This is that. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. So we'll go four more blocks, or three more. 
And then that can be our first slayer. Oh, well, put thou with that whip. All right. So we go one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four. So that's 12. Right. I need to make up some soil. Which I won't be able to do for a little bit. Top soil. Let's go. We'll just go six for good measure. Drop those. Don't need them. Right. So now I've got my width of the base. Now I think I want to go about eight. This is basically going to be the living quarters. So if I go about eight, that should be good. All right, so I've decided to go nine. Just because then it will... Uh, when I put a ladder in to go upstairs, it'll be good. It'll be in the middle. <laughs> So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right, now I've just gotta do the rest of it. Need to go across another well eleven blocks I need to dig and then back another eight. So yeah, I'll get in, do that. We are running out of food and water already. It's not good, but yeah. If you're used to me watching me on streams, we do struggle the first couple of days with food and water. But it's alright, we'll get there. All right, that should be it. So let's see, we got one there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Fantastic. Looks good to me. All right, well, let's go through and quickly upgrade this. And actually, we've got a few challenges now. So we've got craft building block, place, and upgrade. All done. We've also got gather clay. Another 1,000 XP. All adds up. All right, let's get this upgraded quickly. And there we go. Right. So now what I want to do is I want to build this one, two, three blocks up. So we're going to be, have a little bit of a platform and then we can make, yeah, we'll build like the, the floor from that height. So I'll just go through, we'll do three in each corner. There we go. Get those upgraded quickly. Right, now we'll put the floor on. Well, we'll fill up these parts first. And I will be filling in the gaps here. But just at the moment, I'd like to get some sort of a floor on. We are just about to go into night time. is never good would like to have a base down or you know somewhere we can shelter ourselves before nightfall but not to be not today well, that's all right quickly get this done and we can fill in the sides at least then the zombies won't see me all right now if we fill in all right, I can always put down a few blocks to get myself out. But at the moment, the survival is what I'm after. <laughs> I don't need any zombies coming over to me during the night, running towards me, or as I have found out, you do get ferals and stuff like that pretty early on now too, especially nighttime ferals. Definitely don't want to be dealing with them. 
there. Fill this in, then what I'll do is I don't have a lot more wood, but during the night I'll get this upgraded and then put in a roof. I don't know if I want to go one more higher or... I think three is enough. One, two, three. Yeah, because the floor's at three. I might go... Yeah, put the floor in on four. So yeah, I'm going to need a lot more wood because... What have we got? 409 wood left. But anyway, guys, I'll get this all upgraded. I'll do a bit more chopping than that overnight. We'll get in in the morning. Hopefully, I'll have the floor down. And, yeah, we can get in do... Oh, I have got it set to, I think, it was either three or four quests you can do a day because I know they put that in. But, yeah, we'll do as many quests as we can do here on the next day and hopefully find some food and water. Get in, do more work on the base, and, yeah. Keep getting through until we get to day seven. Hopefully we'll be prepared. Anyway, guys, thanks for coming by and watching. I really appreciate it. If you are new and you do enjoy, you'd be a big bloody legend. Hit that subscribe button for everyone else. Be good to be good at it. Take care. I'll see you on day two. Cheers.